of my Warp Tour series and I hope you are super pumped for Warp Tour this year. So as you already know, all of the lineup for 2016's Warp Tour was announced and this year it's an amazing lineup, at least I think that. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is how to prepare for Warp Tour. Last year was my first year at Warp Tour and I kind of went by myself so I didn't have like somebody there telling me oh you need to do this, you need to do that, da da da. So I kind of had to figure things out on my own so there's some things I didn't really know about because I just went into Warp Tour blind basically. Um, I watched a few like other like YouTubers doing Warp Tour related videos and that kind of helped a little bit. So I wanted to make some videos to help you guys out in case you were like me last year and it's your first time going this year and you need to know what to do. So first thing you want to do is the bands just got announced so the first thing that I'm doing and the first thing that would be probably better for you to do is plan what bands you want to see. Now the important thing about doing that First is that if you plan what bands you want to see, like what bands you already know that are going to be on Warp Tour and you want to see them, then you can have a list of those and then it also gives you enough time between when the bands were announced and between when Warp Tour starts that if you haven't heard of a band you might look it up so then you can go and if you like them you can go check them out too like if you have some free time between bands that you really want to see you can stop by and see other bands that you don't know. Um, <clears throat> the uh, most important thing to do when you are making your list of bands that you want to see is go on Warp Tour's website and check the dates that each band that you want to see is playing. Because I know when the bands got announced, I was super excited for like Bullet from a Valentine and Good Charlotte and then I went and checked on the dates and they're not playing my date. So you definitely want to check what dates each band is playing so you don't get super pumped to see a band and then you get there to find out they're not playing your date and then that kind of starts your day off bad and you don't want a bad day at Warp Tour. What I did is I went to Warp Tour's page on YouTube and I watched each of the videos that um, that they have of announcing what band is playing what stage and I made a list just on the little piece of paper I made a list of what bands are playing what stage if you have a list of what bands are playing what stage that can help you because you can go okay well um, Chunk New Captain Chunk and Ghost Town are both playing the Cyclops stage so I know those two bands I want to see and they're also not going to be playing at the same time and so you can know that okay I can see this band and see this band and then or you can go like oh well Ghost Town's playing Cyclops stage and Palais Royale is playing the Full Sail University stage they might play at the same time which one would I rather see more just in case they're playing at the same time so it's kind of like a good thing that you know what stage, even though it is a possibility that stages line up for the stages can change that day just depending on things. But just it's just a good thing to kind of get an idea of, oh, maybe these two bands will play at the same time. So you can have, so you already know in your head if two bands that you want to see are playing at the same time which one that you'd rather see so you don't have to like stop and think about it then. Also a good idea to do is to just make a list of every single band that you want to see and you can put it and then put it in order like this is the number one band I want to see and then put all the ones that you really really want to see at the top and then in the middle put like the band said I want to see but it'd be okay if I didn't see them and then maybe at the bottom put like bands that you just found and be like okay well if nobody else nobody is playing that I want to see maybe I'll check these bands out too. Also um, you can color code them and what I did is I made my list and then I color coded the bands that I want to see but I haven't seen yet 
in one color and then I put the bands that I want to see that I've already seen in another color and then the bands that I haven't seen are the bands that I have seen and it's okay if I miss them in another color. And the last thing I want to talk about is tell your friends if you're going, if you already know or you're already planning on going to Warped Tour with a friend or you're going to meet friends there, tell them that they need to tell them, hey, maybe you should make a list or try to figure it out. So then when either if you're going to meet up beforehand, you can start planning and making a new list or if you know you're going with them, you can like all hang out at one person's house and then make a big list of which bands that you all want to see and then so you can kind of like plan out your day on how you can see each band that everyone wants to see so you have you each have your list it will help you figure out like who wants to see all these bands and maybe if you're going with like maybe like a group of four maybe two of you can go see this band and two of you can go see this band and then meet up again at another time so it's kind of good if you know that you're gonna go with a friend to have to plan this ahead so you know so you don't get there and then maybe miss some of a set because you're standing in one spot trying to figure out what band you're going to see. You already have it planned out ahead of time. So I hope that is kind of helpful to get you starting to prepare for Warp Tour. Um, I know that everyone, as soon as band gets announced, it gets everyone in their head is thinking Warp Tour, Warp Tour, Warp Tour. So I hope that that helps and if it is your first time just don't overthink things and don't like stress out and worry too much. If it is your first time at Warped Tour and you have any more questions about what other, how other ways you need to prepare, there will be other parts of my Warped Tour preparation videos. But if there is anything that you want to know, leave it in the comments and I will try my best to help you with it. Make sure you like this video and share it with your friends if they're going to Warped Tour. It's their first time. Um, or it's your first time and you want to just just share it with your, any of your friends that are going to Warped Tour. Maybe it will help. And um, yeah, so I'll see you next time. Bye.